Good morning all. Welcome back. I'm Shana Searcy and I am so excited to paint with you today for another page in our watercolor journals. And today I'm going to be doing a little drawing as well as painting with watercolor. And I am feeling uh, really fun today. We are going to do something that I used to do a lot of and haven't done in a while, but a little set of gnomes. And these will be little springtime gnomes. We'll incorporate some flowers um, into this little composition. So I'm just going to draw a couple of different little gnomes in here and then we will add some paint and color. So I hope you like gnomes. Um, these are going to be really simple ones uh, that, you know, anybody can do. Uh, you can start with a pencil or you can jump right to a pen. So let's go over supplies really quick. Baohung sketchbook, core, Q-O-R, core watercolor paints. Uh, I am using an Artist Loft illustration pen. Uh, this is from Michaels, so that is a chain of art stores in the US. Uh, and I will be using my size 10 and size four velvet touch brushes, round brushes, water, paper, towels, so on and so forth. All right, so let's get to drawing some adorable little gnomes. So. You can definitely do this in pencil first if you haven't done these before to sketch it out and erase as you go. But I've drawn these a couple of times, so I'm just gonna go for it. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the nose, which is going to be like a horseshoe shape, okay? And then I am going to give him like a wrinkly little brim of his hat. And I might have to change this pen. I feel like I damaged it a little bit in the last one. There we go. Okay, so that's the brim of his hat. I am going to put the top of the hat on. Now you can put in, well, maybe we'll do this in, the, in another one. So I'm just going to draw a hat that flops over like this. So it's going to come up and then flop over and then this is the base of it and you can put any kind of pom-pom on it that you want there we go and let's draw some um, I'm gonna give this one a mustache so like a v-shape in here it goes all the way to the edge of the hat you don't see his eyes. And then the long part of the beard. And then for his body, I'm actually just gonna draw like a big round shape here. We're not gonna give him like arms and legs and feet. We're gonna keep these really simple, like little illustrative gnomes and you can put in I'm gonna put in some lines for the beard we'll emphasize some of this with watercolor all right so there's our first little gnome and then I'm gonna do another one next to it all right so we'll start with the nose again Make this guy, his nose a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna give him like a rolled up brim of his hat. Let's stick some flowers coming out of it, I think. And I'm just gonna make it go straight up. And then over here, I'm gonna put a flower. With some leaves coming out there we go a little bit of the flower and out this side I'm also going to draw a little flower with a couple little leaves sticking out 
same thing except this beard i'm not going to give him a mustache i'm just going to give him a beard kind of going down and same thing nice wide little belly body Perfect. And we'll do one more. So we'll do a third one in here, a little trio. And we could do an even shorter one. Taller, skinnier hat. I'm gonna have actually some flowers on the edge of his hat. I'll give him a mustache, a moustache. And big round body like that and again adding in some lines and now we can make lots of fun choices with color we can add on things like embellishments of stripes in the hats you can we can draw those in too actually boop, boop, boop. let's give let's give this let's give this guy stripes Give them diagonal stripes. Doo, doo, doo. So when we paint the hat, we just have to paint the stripes some kind of different color, whether you're adding white gouache or bleed proof white, or if we're just going to paint it two different colors, or two different values of the same color. There we go. So he has a stripey hat. We got some flowers there, flowers there. We'll paint in some flowers around the sky. Let's see. And we'll paint in some grass around them as well. Okay, let's add some color with our paints. So for my stripey guy's hat, we do wanna keep this somewhat light and springy. So let's see. For this guy's hat, let's let's do light blue and dark blue. I'm just using indigo that I already had in my palette. And actually what we can do is we're gonna paint the whole thing in a wash of light blue and then I'll just add on darker blue stripes. So we'll keep the stripes all the same color but just different values. So after this dries, and underneath here, I'm gonna give it a little bit darker value, a little darker color under the fold here where there would be a little shadow on that side. And then we'll put on the darker stripes in a little bit. There we go. All right, so we can keep his uh, robe that same color or we could switch it up. Let's um, let's keep it the same color. I'm just gonna do a wash of blue on here, kind of around the beard. And for my beard, I'm gonna take a little paint gray, 
clean out this part on my palette. I'm going to use my smaller brush, take a little Payne's Gray, water it down. And the areas that are closest to like the nose and under the hat are going to have a little shadow on them and under the mustache here. And then I'm just going to use that light, light color to emphasize some more shadows and lines in the mustache and the beard to kind of go um, and work alongside the ink lines that I had already put in there. I do want to make this a little darker under the hat. and a little extra richness, darkness under the mustache. And we could actually kind of go through and do all of the beards while we're doing this. Because they're all gonna be kind of done the same way. And if you're in a groove, I'm using a combination of slightly thicker and thinner lines. And let's do this last one. And again, concentrating the most on where the shadows are going to be and then building out from there. can always go back and add more. Try to go lighter rather than darker in the beginning. Go over the bridge of the nose, even though I haven't done the nose color yet, but that's okay. It'll serve as a shadow when I get the nose color in there. Okay, so those are all of our beards. This one has a funky shape right here beards and mustaches. And again, as it dries, we can always go back later and add some darker contrast, some more detailed lines. You can even go back in with pen later if uh, you need to add some more pen lines if those will All right, so let's go back in and do our other colors. So I definitely want to do a green, I think, and a yellow. And then I'm going to add in pops of pink and maybe some other yellow or blue colors with the flowers. So for green, I'm just going to use a sap green. Add a little bit of phthalo blue to it. Actually, I can go right over that leaf. That leaf is going to be painted in a darker color. I will go around my flower though. I'll definitely make that flower like a pinky color. And we'll go a little bit darker on the brim maybe.
And as that dries a little bit, I will eventually go back into the hat and add some shadows in darker green. So let's just get a flat wash on here. Same with that blue. I think I'm going to add some darker color around the body, around the beard where there might be a little shadow. Give it a little three dimensionality. So we'll let that green dry that first wash. And now let's go back in a little blue, a little indigo. There we go. Okay, so letting that green dry a little bit, let's put some yellow down over here. So let's use this. Do we want to use this nickel azo yellow? Mm, that's a little bright for me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually use raw sienna. With maybe a little cadmium added to it, but. Wanted it to be a little more earth toned. Again, we have another bend in this hat, so we'll do a little shading underneath. You don't have to go crazy. And I could take a little of this with a little, I just added a little um, raw umber, which is a brown color, just to put right towards the bottom. All right, let's go back to the green. I just want to add a little shading here. I'll give a shadow as the underside, the roll. Of the hat, kind of under the beard here. And maybe a little bit on the edges of the hat. And just blend that out towards the middle. Just so it has a little dimension. Helps that pop off the page just a little bit. I forgot to do the body over here. So we'll just put a little yellow color there, let it dry and add some shadows just like we did for the other ones. All right, let's start to add in, I'm going to save the noses for last um, and we're just going to use a peachy peachy orangey color for that. Um, I'll let everything around it dry, but let's add in some flowers. So let's get some magenta out. I'm going to water that way down. We're going to make this little guy magenta. I'm just going to dab in some color and then some darker color. I'm not going to get crazy with these. You can go outside the lines a little bit. 
and a little darker color right towards the middle. I'm going to make these blue over here. So I have some of this indigo and thalo, thalo blue kind of already mixed up. So I'm going to add just a little to the tops and then blend them out. Drop a little bit more color in, wet on wet. I will add a little purple up here, I think. I'm going to switch to my smaller brush. Now for my green, I'm going to use sap green and phthalo blue to make a much darker, cooler green color. Not quite that dark. Let me add a little yellow. There we go. And we can paint in these leaves. can even paint in a few more. And now's the time, other than the nose and these stripes we have to add back on, we can just start painting flowers around these guys. Flowers and greenery. So let's give this one some grass over here. So let's just start building a little floral garden world around them. But first I'm going to get those noses in because they still kind of look like ghost gnomes right now. So I have some magenta here. I have a little bit of diorolide yellow. It's going to make like this peachy and then a little bit of green, which will make this flesh tone color. I'm going to get that in there. We're going to leave a little highlight in the middle. So you're just going to paint it in and then we'll drop in more color around the edges as it dries. All right, let's let them dry a little bit, but that warms them up so much more already. And then we'll add a little bit more color, deepen and enrich in that color. So let's go back to our larger brush. I'm going to pick up some cadmium yellow and I'm just going to play my way through some fun little flowers here. So I'm going to put in like a sunflower over here, kind of on its side. drop in some brown. I, this is a raw umber into the center. I can do another one of these over here. So these are super loose. Try not to overthink them. basic flowers. They have centers. They have petals. 
they're going to have some greenery. They'll have a little bit of layer. So I already put in that yellow. I'm going to make a little, with a little magenta, make that yellow a little orangey. And just add in Maybe it went a little too orangey, but I'm just going to lean into it. All right, what else? What else? Let's do some roses, kind of like the one we put on the hat here. Some people love roses, some people hate roses. Painting them anyway. Well, I guess in real life. But these are like the simplest, most kind of rose adjacent. I'm not gonna really focus on, could be a carnation even. I just want to fill this space with some lovely, beautiful blooms. Uh, let's do an orangey, more orangey colored rose. Do that one maybe over here. Then I'm going to start to add in some greenery. We could add in something like poppy-ish, poppy-like. Let's get some red, some cadmium red here. So, nice and loose. This is kind of the side of the poppy. This is the back edge. We're gonna see a tiny little bit of the inside. might have got a little carried away with that. Let's do another one over here. We're going to get some of that green, some sap green. I definitely have to add more sap green to my palette. I'm just being lazy. I got some in the mail the other day, finally. Switch to my smaller brush, size four. I'm going to take some of my black. Well, this is actually Payne's Gray, sorry, but drop it into the center of that flower. And even take some more red. And these front petals. All right, so let's start to add some green, some big leaves, some dark green, some blue green, change up your greens, you can add a little Payne's gray to your green. Paint right over the top of the front of these guys. Getting a little loosey goosey, a little sloppy. Sometimes it just feels good to paint. Kind of go with your gut. All 
Oh, I still got to finish the stripes on the gnome's head there. All right, we're going to let that dry. Let's give these sunflowers over here just some green that's interacting with them. So they're not just a flower floating in space. There's a lot going on in there. Okay, so let me get that dark blue, which is just indigo. I'm gonna use it much more concentrated, less watered down. And we're just gonna paint in these blue stripes. So we're gonna skip every other one. one. And these will dry a little bit lighter. They look really dark when you first put them on and you need them to be because indigo does dry much lighter than when you originally put it on wet. And I feel like I have to add one more stripe like right here to break up this space, even though I didn't draw it in with the ink and maybe even like one right on the end. You can always go back and add ink later. Our green guy looks a little flat. I like the yellow, it's got a nice contrast. I'm gonna add a little indigo to my sap green here and just go back in with some darker color along the edge. And I'm just gonna blend it out. There, it doesn't look so flat now. Before it just looked like a super flat wash. So it just needed a little more shadow. I know it's hard because there's so much green in this painting too. Even gonna add a little Indigo. I almost want to add like this one just looks so rich now compared to the other ones. Oh well. Let's add on a little bit darker color down below. Um I wonder what would happen if I put stripes on the yellow one. Let's see, we're already at 30, like 30 minutes or so. I'm just using this dark brown orangey color to go over top of the yellow. Way it'll be a little more balanced. We'll have two striped hats, one on either side. Just felt like it was such a strong pattern. It was like pulling your attention all to that one hat side. There, that looks fun. These guys are fun. All right, last little bit on the nose. I'm gonna go back to that original kind of peachy color and we're gonna give some shadow underneath a little more warmth and we're just gonna blend it out a little bit
there we go. There's our fun little gnome trio with very loose, fun, fancy flowers in the background, some greenery. Try not to overthink it, play with it, have fun. I hope you enjoyed learning how to draw these guys as well as paint in some interesting uh, colors, flowers, patterns on their clothing. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like the channel, or I'm sorry, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I love to hear your comments. And also thank you so much to my super thanks contributors. You are amazing and you help me keep doing what I do every day for you all by putting out these uh, video content um, on YouTube. So thank you, thank you, super thanks um, contributors. All right, so I am gonna see you very soon for our next watercolor journal page. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Happy painting y'all, take care.